All right, well, so about 11 years ago, I uh, was in the car. I was trying to self-crack myself, and I uh, ended up not doing it properly. And ever since then, it's never felt the same. So I've basically experienced sciatic-like uh, symptoms down my left leg. It has, you know, always had kind of this numb, tingly, dull feeling to it. I've never had the same mobility in my hips. About three years ago, I was in a motorcycle accident where I got pinned with my left shoulder and then also my right knee suffered some damage as well. Yeah, so I had a surgery about two years ago. Um, it was for a deviated septum. Mm -hmm. um, they went in and cleaned it up. But as you can see, kind of when you look at the cartilage, they mm -hmm. did not put it back correctly. And that was, they did not put the stint back in the left side, mm -hmm. but that's kind of a different story. Um, and so it's cleaned it up a lot, but I'm still having some breathing issues as well. The little muscle knot right there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yep. And you got a little puffiness right over here as well. So when we test this one, see this one over here is not moving. This moves, the one right below it, but this right here, that's stuck, right? And then we see one big band right over here, a swelling. Yep. This left side is not moving whatsoever. That's a brick wall. So let's go ahead and let's test some more. Tender right there? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit, right? And we got one big knot over here. And not too bad on this side, so that tells us what the problem is with that one. What happened all the way back then, 11 years ago, made you subtract yourself and never been the same since, with pain going on down the leg? Well, when I take a look at this x-ray over here, it's this component right over here, the second sacral segment over here. So when I take a look over here, see how that? I drew some lines over there, make it a little easy for you to see. Okay. That's wedged open like this. Right, yeah. Normally, I don't want to see anything in there. This should be one solid bone, unless you experience trauma to it, which you did. So since this gapped open, it resulted in instability at your fifth lumbar disc. That's why this is parallel. Mm. So if that's parallel, then that tells us that's why that one is not that of alignment. That's what we need to correct first to provide additional stability to the rest of your spine. Now what's going on with the left shoulder? You got pinned around, you feel pain going on your chest. That's that sixth dorsal right over here. Because we see here, your spine's not straight and right. it curved this way yeah. as a result from the instability from your foundation itself. So since it went zigzagged and the motorcycle, just simply just like the final stroke or the camel's back, this sixth dorsal over here, bam, knocked out of alignment, affected this shoulder over here and caused all this chest pain and everything else you've been going on. Definitely feels like it's a lot looser. Uh -huh. um, still a little bit of tenderness, but that's probably to be expected after as many years of damage. Okay. Um, but it definitely feels a lot looser. How's the left foot? The ankle? Well, I usually hear cracking kind of with the ankle uh -huh. when I move it. And How's it now? Nothing really. Feels a lot better. Is that a beautiful thing? Yeah. 
Okay. Wow. Yeah, we didn't have a chance to work on the foot yet. Okay, we'll work on it. Check on it. Okay, how is the pain going on the on that left leg of yours? Doesn't seem to be as much. Here's a piece of wood. I definitely feel like I'm standing up a lot straighter mm -hmm. now, and it's a lot easier to. How's this? Feels a lot smoother, smoother of a rotation. Mm -hmm. I think the pain is down significantly. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Wow. Well. Let's work in the ankle. All right. Uh, you feel all this ligament laxity over here? All of this is just too loose. It wobbles too much. So the story with this ankle over here, it needs more proper nerve function going down from your low back to this foot over here. As we demonstrate on this chart over here, because the nerves got compromised over here, you weren't having enough nerves going down to your legs and into those ankles over there. So that's what we're feeling right here right now. This left ankle over here, see, there's too much movement here. It shouldn't be this loose. Same story with this one, it's too loose. So to try to correct this ankle over here, as right now, would not be an ideal choice right at the moment. Let your body restore itself, regenerate, get some more nerve function down to these ankles, and then we'll see what we need to correct on the future visits. Okay. So if you see over here, his nose is deviated towards the left this way. So that indicates this is a left deviated septum. So let's go ahead and correct this. Mm-hmm. All right, champ. There's a piece. Okay. Come on up. Walk around. Wow. Close in. What's different? Definitely feels a lot different. <laughs> I don't I don't even know. Different in what way? Feels like I can breathe a little bit clearer now. Which, which nostril? Both. <laughs> I mean, because usually I can only blow out of one nostril at a time. It usually doesn't come out of both at the same time, generally speaking. And it's like I can breathe out of both, both at the same time. Well, I didn't know that was a thing. That's right. Impressed. Well. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, thank you. Wow. All right, roll set, champ. All right. All right. That's it for today. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate it.